Dear student, myself, Rajinder Asiri, I am Assistant Professor in Computer Science Department at Government Bangad PG College, Dirwana. Dear student, in the previous lecture, we discussed various concepts on database and management system. We discussed various levels of abstraction like physical level, logical level, view level. Then we have discussed various users and their roles in a DBMS architecture like Navy users, application programs, database administrator and sophisticated users. After that, we discussed about relational schema and instance of a relation. Then we discussed some basics about SQL that is structured query language. In that we discussed about select statement from and where statement and based on that some basic queries we have discussed or practiced. Then in the just previous lecture we started a new topic that is relational algebra. In relational algebra it is basically a database query language. In this language we required various type of operation like select operation, project operation, union operation, intersection operation, division operation. All these concept we already discussed and based on that various queries already done. <coughs> Now in today's lecture, we will be focusing some new concept on relational model, then the basic structure of database, relational algebra operation, fundamental operation already done, then additional relational algebra operation also done, null values just previous lecture we have discussed and now in today's lecture, we will be focusing on the modification of a database. Now before going in detail about this topic, first thing coming in mind of all of you that what is meaning of modification. So modification means we are changing the database, clear? Changing the database or modifying the or updating the database means we are, uh, we are updating the rows value, the columns corresponding value, the name of column okay we are adding the column uh, adding the column new column or removing the existing column column similarly for the rows so all these things are coming under the category modification of the database so step by step we will be discussing about modification in the database so modification of the database means the content of the database may be modified using the following operation first operation is deletion second operation is insertion third is updation now all these operations are expressed using the assignment operator in assignment operator what we actually do we are writing a expression in the right side and the result of the that expression is going in the left side value so in the left side we are writing a simple name or any alphabet or any column name any row name or any attribute name in that attribute we are putting the right side expression in the right side expression we are doing some addition subtraction depending upon the type of modification operation means operation can be deletion then we will write down minus because we are removing the particular column or particular rows insertion means we are adding adding means plus we need to write down in the in the expression <coughs> addition it means we need to perform the change of value also now based on what we are changing the values of a particular attribute or column or row based on some condition so in updation we require some condition some predicate is there based on that condition satisfaction we are updating the corresponding columns or corresponding rows now first operation is deletion <coughs> a delete request is expressed similarly to a query except instead of displaying tuples to the user the selected tuples are removed from the database means whenever we are making a query suppose I am writing select star from a particular table then it will return all the rows or all the columns of that particular table or relation now suppose I want to omit some rows or some tuples then deletion operation is very very important so delete request is expressed similar to a query 
which is basically a query in which we are instead of displaying the tuples to the user selected tuples are just removed from the database now how we are, we are doing this so we can delete only whole tuples we cannot delete values on only particular attribute <coughs> means the very important concept coming is that in order to apply delete operation we can delete whole tuple or whole rows at a time we cannot remove a particular value corresponding to a particular attribute okay so a deletion is expressed in relational algebra by assignment operator and minus or subtraction operator is required so how to write down r is standing for relation in the right side we need to write down the expression so first right side will be done and the result will be going into relation so suppose in the right side i am picking the marker in the right side we are having existing relation and capital e stand for the tuples which we are we are uh, want to remove or it is for the relational algebra query so in e we will write down some relational algebra query based on some condition based on some project operation and that particular rows those particular rows will be subtracted from the existing relation with help of subtract operation okay and the resultant value will go in the old relation r okay so r is a relation and e is a relational algebra query <coughs> now one example is written here more than one example is written here so first very simple example after that some complex example we will be discussing suppose delete all account record in parish branch so condition is that we need to remove all the account which are corresponding to parish branch so assignment operator is required left arrow this is assignment operator first we need to write down the right side expression so account records are where in the account relation from the account relation we need to pick those entry corresponding to parish branch so sigma operation for the conditional statement sigma branch name should be equal to parish those particular rows are picked from where account relation and they are subtracted from the existing account relation with the help of minus operator the re resultant account relation will go into the existing account relation means account relation will be updated and it will be having no rows corresponding to branch name parish <coughs> so in this manner we can do deletion operation next operation delete all loan record with amount in the range 0 to 50 condition is on the amount loan record or loan is the relation name <coughs> so again assign operator first go in the right side loan relation we have to pick and the condition is that the amount should be in the range means greater than or equal to 0 or less than or equal to and less than or equal to 50 so sigma is the condition because we are putting some condition sigma amount greater than or equal to 0 and and means in the range amount less than or equal to 50 either it should be greater than or equal to 0 or it should be less than and it should be less than or equal to 50 both conditions should be met at the same time it means the amount should be in the range 0 to 50 those tuples will be we will get from this and from the loan we will subtract this this particular query and the resultant will go in the loan relation okay now next query delete all account at branches located in Nidham so suppose particular <coughs> branches and account branch is branch name is related to branch table and account table uh, accounts related to account table so two relation are very uh, are uh, used in this particular query so we need to do natural join because we need to remove duplicacy also so account and natural join with the branch we will put uh, condition on the city uh, branch city that is sigma branch city should be nidham and from th that will go in the r1 similarly what we will do we will select account number dot branch name and, and balance from relation one and similarly from the second r2 relation and the depositor we will just put the by applying some condition put the value in the r3 similarly account will get the account minus r2 means all the uh, all the rows will be removed corresponding to account um, balance and the branch and similarly depositor will get the all the rows accepting with the r3 queries so in this manner we can apply the deletion operation
Now next operation is insertion operation. In insertion operation, we require to insert some data in a relation. Either specify a tuple to be inserted or write a query whose result is a set of tuples to be inserted. So in relational algebra, an insertion is expressed by union expression or addition expression. R is relation, E is relational algebra expression. So R is getting with the help of assignment operator R union capital E. The insertion of a single tuple is expressed by letting E be a constant relation containing one tuple only. Some insertion example is also there. So insert information. So the query says we need to insert information in the database specifying that Smith has $1200 in account A9973 at the page branch. So account name is given, page branch is given and the dollar information is given. So these three attributes value we need to insert as a tuple in the given database right. <coughs> so account is the existing relation in account relation we need to add this particular tuple. So how to add this tuple? Any tuple is added as of in the form of a set. So if you go in the right side, account is the existing relation. We are inserting means union operation. And what we are inserting? A particular tuple. So in the curly bracket, in the set, we need to write down in open bracket. Open bracket means the particular attribute value. Uh -huh. So we need, we are writing, so first value is A97, A973. Second is parish branch and 1200 is the value. So all these three value in the form of set will be put in the account relation. Second is depository relation. In depository relation, we are adding a Smith name of the customer and the branch corresponding account name. The account name is A973 in the depository relation. So in this manner, we can perform the insertion operation also. Next query is provide as a gift for all the loan customer in the parish branch 200 saving account let the loan number serve as the account number for the new saving account. So here we require two relation borrower as well as loan because some information is coming from borrower and some information is coming from loan. So on the borrower and natural joint operation loan we will apply a condition on the parish branch and the result will go in the R1 the temporary result. After that we will do on the account relation query on the account relation and we will add pi operation loan number and branch name and the 200 on the relation 1 and that will go in the account relation next is depository relation in the depository we will add the column customer name and loan number from the relation r1 which we have done at the first step so in this manner we can perform insertion also next is updation a mechanism to change a value in a tuple without changing all the value in the tuple so we required a generalized project operation the generalized project operation notation is in the relation what is going pi f1 f2 are the function uh, and expression from the relation r each fi is either the ith attribute of r if the ith attribute is not updated or if the attribute is no, not to, uh, to be updated, fi is an expression involving only constant and the attribute of r which gives the new value of the attribute, right? In update example, one example we are taking, make interest payment by increasing all balance by 5%. Suppose interest payment we need to include uh, increase by 5%, so we need to apply, uh, update. So it is picked from account relation, in the pi we pick account number and branch name and balance, balance into 1.05 means we are multiplying the balance with the 1.05 it means 5% increment in the relation account okay and the resultant will go in the final account so in this manner the updation will be done on the balance <coughs> similarly the next query can be done based on the condition and the requirement so in this particular lecture we discussed about insertion relation and updation in the upcoming lecture some more new concept on the database and management system. That's all from this particular lecture. Thank you.